Hey man, we out here for our people, man. We are the battle axes of the most high. A lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. To let us know who we are, that we're God's chosen people. These are friends. It says on the border of their garments throughout their generations. What does throughout your generations mean? Exactly. So do you have on fringes? Yes. But guess what? You can do these things, man. Gathering with brothers and sisters, man. Guess what? We can exhort you to get fringes, brother. This is not hard to do. This is not a hard commandment to do. You understand that, brother? We are here to teach our people what we need to do to get out of the dung hill that we are in, brother. Because guess what? Whether you believe it or not, who is on the bottom of society, brother? As a nation of people, black people, brother, not just us, but Mexicans and Native Americans too. Hell, you don't even hear about the Native Americans. Exactly, we on the bottom because what? Why are we on the bottom, though? Because we obeyed the Father's commandments. Because we disobeyed the Father's commandments. So, in order to get out of that, what must we do? Obey the commandments, man. That's what we are here to teach our people to keep the commandments. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. So it's imperative that we keep the commandments, man. You understand that? Wearing your fringes, growing your beard out, brother. Like we say, not eating the vulnerable foods and keeping the Sabbath day. Read this. Huh? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. Cry aloud. Read that again. Huh? Cry aloud. Read on, huh? Spare not. You can't spare brothers and sisters' feelings according to the Bible. If it's in this Bible, guess what? We got to bring that thing out because that's what? That is true love according to the Bible, brother. You understand that? We don't, not. Huh? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, uh -huh. and show my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins. So we're commanded to come out here and tell our people what they are doing wrong according to the Bible, and to get our people to correct those mistakes. You understand that? That's right. Give me Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18. Because these things are very important to bring us back to the kings and princes that we need to be according to the Bible, man. Read this. I this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear grudge against the children of thy people. Jump up to verse 17, huh? Verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Guess what? Your neighbor, according to the Bible, is who? The children of your people. So re the word rebuke means to correct. So when we see our brothers out of order, guess what? It's our job to get them back into order. That's love. That's, love. That's exactly right, bro. That's love according to the Bible. Let me, I'm going to bring this commandment out. Let's see if you can do this. Give me the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. You give me Isaiah 44 and verse 5. Because we are supposed to be keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. Let's see if you can keep this law right quick. Read this, huh? This is the book. Of First Corinthians chapter eleven and verse three, but I would have you know, the head of every man is Christ, and the head of woman is the man, uh -huh. and the head of Christ is God. You know, huh? Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. Having his what? Having his yeah. head covered. Having his what? Having yeah. his yeah. head covered. Read up. Uh do you understand what that scripture means? Exactly. Do you have your head covered? Yeah. So what are you supposed to do? With no. Look. Uh, I'll pray. So what are you supposed to do? I'll pray. Get up on the head, man. You see how easy that is to keep in the commandments? That thing is easy, man. Guess what? God's commandments are not hard. It's our people that makes them hard. Bro. That's right. Bring it out. That's right. Exactly. You're exactly right, man. I'm going to give you another commandment. Give me Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. These are basic commandments that we always bring out. That our people, when we bring them out, make it hard, man. They make it hard to do, but the Bible says his commandments are not grievous, man. Read this. Uh, this is the book of Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh-huh. Gather yourselves together. Read that again, huh? Gather, gather yourselves together. together. Read on, huh? Yay! Gather together. Old nation not desired. So 
what do you think that scripture mean? Uh, that means to gather together. Exactly, it's man. Simple. It's pretty basic. Exactly. Unity, solidarity, strength. That's exactly right, man. That's what that scripture is saying, man. That's how you get more and more understanding of the scriptures when you gather yourself around righteous brothers, man. man Being yeah. raised up in the law. You understand that? So this is very important because a lot of times our people don't like to congregate, man. Our people hate being around other people that look like them, that yeah, know something about the Bible, man. We're commanded to do these things. Read this. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 44 and verse 5. One shall say, I am the Lord. And another shall call himself by, thy, by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord. And surname himself by the name of Israel. Thus said the Lord, the King of Israel. And his redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last. And beside me, there is no God. There is no what? No God. Verse 7 is the point. Read on up. And who, as I, shall call, and shall declare. And do what? And shall declare. And shall what? And shall declare. That's what we declare in the word of the Most High God. And he told us to do something else, brother. Read on up. And set it in order for me. Read that again. Huh? And set it in order for me. Battle lights all together. And, and set, set it in, in order for me. me. Guess what, man? We are here to set God's army in order, brother. That's before right. our Lord and Savior Christ comes back, man. That's what we're here teaching our people the commandments. So, so this is for you, too. Stay and listen to us for a moment, sis. You ain't got five minutes for your guys, sis? I got to go on the other side. Sis, this ain't. Well, listen on this other side. Guess what? We are here to set this thing in order, brother. So guess what? It's our job to get brothers and sisters in order according to the Bible. You understand that? The way we get order is by teaching our people the commandments. Do y'all think y'all can gather around uh, uh, brothers, gather amongst brothers to keep the Sabbath? Guess what? We hold classes on Wednesdays. We hold classes today on the Sabbath day. I'm going to Oklahoma, though. When you going to Oklahoma, brother? Uh, are y'all going out of state? Y'all from Oklahoma? What part of Oklahoma you from? I'm from Sacramento, California. I stay in the Guess what? This truth is everywhere, brother. Yes, Subscribe brother. to Brother's Truck. Oh, uh, praise you. You see us, but do you believe it? Do you believe that we. I know, I don't believe, I know. Oh, uh, praise you, man. But guess what? Believe it is going, brother. But to really believe, you're going to do the things that's in the Bible, man. That's right. You understand that's right. That? Give me James chapter 1, verse 22. That's Basic right. precepts. Without, without, without verse, that's James chapter 2, verse 16. Give me that one, too. Because we're going to pull all the ones. Give me James chapter 2, verse 16. You give me James 1 and 22. Right. Read this out. This is the book of James chapter 1 and verse 22. Read up. But be ye doers of the word. But be ye what? But be ye doers of the word. We actually have to do what's in the Bible, brother. We can't play the games with our brothers and sisters because that's going to get us put to death, man. Head chopped off when your howl shot come back. Because guess what? This is the Christ that's coming back. Not this effeminate homosexual, man. This one right here ain't going to play no games, man. He will spur not, man. Killing children and all that's not in order according to the Bible, brother. You understand that, man? Read on, huh? And now hearers only. So the Bible says be doers of the word and not just hearers only. Read on up. Deceiving your own self. Because guess what? When we do that, we play in the game. Think we're going to get into the kingdom of heaven. And guess what? You're going to get that dough slammed on you, man. It ain't going to be no games play. Read this up. Uh, Read this up. This is the book of James chapter 2 and verse 16. And what of you say unto them? Depart in peace. Be ye warm and filled. Uh -huh. Notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. Guess what? We're giving our people the things that are needful to the body. We're giving our people spiritual food, man. That's what we need instead of physical food, man. You understand that, brothers? We don't know. What? Do it perfect. Exactly. Even so, faith, if it had not works, is dead. Read that again, huh? Even so, faith, if it, not, if it had not works, is dead. So guess what? You can have all the faith that you want to, but if you don't have the works to bag up that faith, that thing is dead. That's right. It's action. It's action. Exactly. It's action, brother. We don't know. Uh, 2 verse 16 this is, this is the book of uh, James chapter 2 and verse 17 and even 
works of faith, it had not works as dead being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Guess what? You That's can tell right. that we believe because we're showing you our faith by the works that we're doing. That's we right. out here doing the will of the Father. We ain't doing our own will, man. Give me Psalms 40 and 8. Because a lot of things that we got to cut off that we did in the old world. Do y'all smoke marijuana? Are we supposed to? Sacrament. Yes, sir. Sacrament. Are we supposed to? Give me the book of, drop all that. Give me the book of uh, uh, Genesis chapter 1 verse 22. You give me Titus chapter 2 verse 11. Yeah. Let's see if we are supposed to. I want this one in Titus chapter 2 verse 11 first. Uh, you got Read this. Uh, this is the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 11. For the grace of God has brought, has bringed salvation, has appeared unto all men. Read on, uh. Teaching us, so grace teaches us something. Read on, uh. That denying ungodliness, ungodliness is anything that's not written in the Bible. Last time I checked, you won't catch, hold up, you won't catch smoking weed. We gonna get that. You won't catch smoking weed in the Bible. Read on, huh? And worldly lust, we should live soberly. Read that again, huh? We should live soberly. Read that one more time for the huh? We should live soberly. Now I got a question for y'all. When y'all under the influence, are y'all sober? My mind becomes very sober. Brother, say it again, brother. No, brother. We can't play the games. You are not sober when you are smoking weed, brother. I, I, I come to a higher, to a higher knowledge of wisdom, knowledge, over oh, Brother, that's a hard dynamic knowledge, brother, because you won't find what quite fired up a blizzy. You won't find what quite... Is that water to wine? Huh? Is that water to wine? And guess what? What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with drinking wine. The seed is where you drink to get drunk, brother. That's right. You understand that? I understand that. I'll read this. I, this is the book of Genesis, chapter 1, and verse 22. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply. Read on now. And fill the waters and the seas. Read, uh, jump down to uh, chapter 20, uh, 2 and verse 2. Genesis chapter 2. Uh, verse 30, 1 and 30. Yeah, 30. Right there, right there. This is the book. This is the book of uh, Genesis chapter 1 and verse 30. I want you to read, listen to this, brother. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for me, no, to fire in a blizzy, for me, for what, for me. So herb was made to be what? Eaten, not smoked. And it's not talking about, no, it's not talking about marijuana. Jump up to verse 29. I this is the book of Genesis, chapter 1, and verse 29. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. Bearing what? Bearing seed. Bearing what? Bearing seed. Which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of the tree, yielding seed. Read up. To you it shall be for me. No, meat. for smoking. For, for me. Meat. For smoking. For, for me. Meat. For meat. And guess what? We know that it's talking about the uh the green things, like we say, fruits and vegetables, because when we read in Titus chapter 2, verse 11, it says what? Be ye sober. So guess what? Even when you eat marijuana, are you sober? Exactly, brother. I'll praise you. You being truthful, brother. Read this. I, this is the wisdom. Hold up. You said what? Brother, that's why I said the seed comes in when you drink to get drunk. You understand that? It's okay to drink a little bit, brother. As long as you're not drinking to get drunk. Right now, it sounds like you're making excuses. Everything was okay at first until we called out the seed. Huh? Everything is still okay. So guess what? Can you put that blizzy down? Look at you. Look, look at you. You got to put that thing down, brother. Is smoking weed work you get the kingdom of the heaven? The rulership over the planet Earth and the people in it, brother? Hell no, it ain't, man. I want to rule the planet Earth, man. Oh, and right. the people. The hell with that damn weed, brother. You don't think these brothers used to be up here smoking hell of weed, brother? Yeah, but I can I smoke with the best of them, brother. But guess what? We put all that stuff away that we gain Christ, brother. That stuff right. ain't nothing That's to us, man. Read this. Uh, this is the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16 and verse 12. Read up. Uh, For it was neither herb nor mother 
fine pastor that excuse me that restored them to hell. That did what? That restored them to hell. So it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored our people. Because a lot of times people say that, man, I smoke weed to get in tune with the earth. Brother, you get in tune with a demonic spirit, man. That's, right. That's all that it is. That's what that stuff lead to. Thinking you, guess what? Going off trying to be deeper than Einstein and all these different type of stuff, man. Brother, that's madness and folly, brother. Read on out. But the word, oh Lord, which healeth all things. But thy what? But thy, thy, thy word, oh Lord, Lord, which healeth all things. And guess what? God's word is what heals us, man. Guess what's found in the word of God? The law, statutes, and commandments, brother. You understand it? So it's okay to drink. The sin comes in when you drink to get drunk. You understand, brother? We just, uh, this is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 5 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Be sober. Be what? Be, be sober. sober. Once again, it's telling us to be sober. Read on out. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Because guess what? That marijuana going to call you, brother. It's going to call you. But the Bible says be vigilant, man. Yes. Tell that marijuana you're not worth me getting the kingdom, man. Take the, the weed man phone out of your phone, man. Give me that as a matter of fact. Give me that in uh. Romans chapter 13, verse 14. Hold what you got, though. Read this again, I huh? Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walking about, seeking who he may devour. Guess what, man? He walking about, seeming who he may devour, man. When our people are under the influence, guess what? You're leaving yourself up to be devoured by Satan, man. Not That's the right. devil, man. That's guess right. what? These are things that brothers can shake, man. Read this, huh? This is the book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 14. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. Man, put on the Lord Yahweh, man, which is a black man according to the Bible, man. Read on up. And make not provisions for the flesh. Read on up. But fulfill to fulfill the lust thereof. Guess what, man? Don't put provisions for the flesh to uh, incite your lust, brother. So even with that weed, man, provisions is making an excuse. You might keep your weed, man, number in your phone because guess what? You hoping or knowing one day you might fall off and you got his number on speed down to call him right quick. Guess what? If you being truthful about this truth, you're going to delete his number entirely, brother. That's you right. understand that? That's making no provisions for the flesh. Read that again for the brothers, man. The book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 14. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provisions for the flesh. Oh, my weed man number in my phone. Make not provisions for the flesh. Guess what? I'm watching porn on my phone. Make, make not provisions for the flesh. I got that barbecue place that love to send me the pork chop baskets in my in my phone. Make not provisions for the flesh. Do what? To fulfill the lust thereof. Because guess what? All these things that we go through is some type of lust. Brothers may have a smoking spirit lust on them. Brother may have a sexual addiction lust on them. Brothers may have a lying spirit on them, brother. All these things deal into lust, which deal into sin, brother. Read this. Uh, this is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 5 and verse 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. Read that again. Uh, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. Because guess what, man? To break these things, you have to be in a humble spirit, man. Guess what? You got to think all these things through, man. Guess what? And just do what the Bible says, man. It's not hard, man. Read on, huh? That he may exalt you in due time. Read that again, huh? That he may exalt you in due time. Guess what? Because guess what? That thing, you're going to get paid off for that thing, man. The things, the trials and tribulations that we go to, you think it ain't a reward for that? The reward is the kingdom, man. Read on, huh? Casting all, casting all your care upon him. For he cared for you. Guess what? The most high cares for us. That's why it says be sober, be vigilant, man. Because guess what? We got adversaries out here that understand to overcome us, all they need to do is keep us from these laws, statutes, and commandments. Read this, huh? This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Read that again, huh? Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Now submit yourself to the Kush. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Guess what? We got to submit ourselves unto the Most High God, man. A bag of Kush is not going to get brothers into the kingdom, man. It's just not, man. Read on, huh? Resist the devil. Read that again, huh? Resist the devil. And your, the devil is what? A blunt. 
A blood full of Kush, man. That's your devil, man. That's the demons that you got to overcome, brother. Guess what? That thing ain't hard to do, man. What are some of the other stuff you struggle with? Do you eat pork, brother? You gotta stop that thing. Give me Leviticus 11 and 7. Read on, huh? And he will flee from you. Read that again, huh? Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Uh-huh. Resist the devil. Redo what? Resist the devil. Brother, stay, stay and listen a little bit longer, man. You got that chart for a reason, man. Have a seat, man. Read on, huh? And he will flee from you. Guess what? If you resist that devil, man, guess what? The most high God will take that spirit off you. You do these things by fasting and prayer, brother. You understand that? Read this for the brother. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine, though he divided the hoof, and be clothed footed, yet he chew it, not the cub. He is unclean to you. No, we can eat pork chop bass. He is unclean to you. Read up. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. And read that again. Take that slow. Read that again. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. So what is the swine according to the Bible, brother? The pig. He's unclean to us. Because why did God make the pig, brother? Exactly, brother. You understand these things. Your problem is you're not doing it, brother. So do you think that is, which is worse, people that don't know the truth or people that know it and don't do it? No, brother. We, it's only one truth according to the Bible. I didn't ask you that. Answer my question. Exactly, brother. That's your situation right there, brother. Because guess what? We need you on this side to help raise up a nation, brother. Let's take a nation of people to await the one-third and the 144,000 of the elect, man. We can't do it by ourselves, man. That's right. That's Why do you right. think Christ That's has the 12 right. disciples, man? Why do you think these brothers out here all in unity, brother? You understand that, man? This won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're going to be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this. Yeah, I swear, been to war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're going to be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this. Yeah, I swear. Chapter 14, verse 2. Uh -huh. Bring it Good out. morning. And the gates thereof land. He said the real Jews are in mourning. And the gates, they ain't got no, they ain't got no gates right now. We ain't got no protection. They are black. They are what? They are black. Now the so-called white man wrote this Bible. They are black. If the so-called white man wrote this Bible and stepped on it, they would have took out that the real, real Jews are black. That's right. They